this part. Um, out of all the stories that I talk about, this is the most probably important section I really should delve a lot more into. And it's about the mentality of just holding on. I know everybody will say, you know, you need to hold on forever. And you need to to never, ever sell. And I don't think that's true. I, I think at some point you, you want to sell because everybody's different, right? Are you in your 40s like me? No. Uh, well, maybe. I don't know. Uh, are you, you know, in your 20s, you know, have three kids running around and uh, need a bunch of money? Yeah, maybe. Uh, are you in your 70s or 80s and uh, you're like, you know what, I got, I just need some retirement cash or whatever else it is. Everybody's situation is different. So when, I talk, when it talks about you got to hold on for dear life, I don't think that's really true. You do want to, for me, I want to be an investor. Some people want to be a trader. Some people want to be Gordon Gecko and just, you know, run everything. I don't really don't want to do that. But to get the, the mentality is this. In the very beginning, this is how it feels like. You know, it feels like, you know, people like, oh, it's so easy to hold, right? And then when you start to really get into crypto, especially those who are new, it's very tough because you see like, let's say that you got into, let's say you got into Voyager, right? I know, Rob's a big shill for Voyager. I own it, so I'm biased. What are you going to do? And uh, I did call it at 29 cents. So, I mean, if you would have listened back then, I, I gotta, before I move on, I got to tell you, some people are so ticked off at me because of, I called Voyager at 29 cents and I said, am I, and I'll link the video, January 7th was my 2021 price prediction. I said, this one's going to 30 bucks. And it's the most outrageous one I have because most of them are pretty conservative. I was very wrong on Uniswap. I thought only Uniswap was going to 20. I was wrong about that one. Happily wrong. So people are, I said, 29 cents is Voyager. It's going to go to 30. I said it at 79 cents. I said it at a dollar. I said it at $3. I said it at five. And I said it when it hits all time high at seven. Now it down, it's like, down to like 628. But I don't know why people are so mad. I mean, if you just would have listened and just done your own research, maybe you would have been a good uh, buy. I don't know. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just saying I think it's going to 30. In my mind, that's where I see it. So when you when you get into investing and you see like Voyager go from 29 cents, then all of a sudden, uh, you know, it 10Xs and it's like at three bucks. You're like, holy smokes, I just made a bunch of money on this. It's crazy. It's tough to hold on because without really seeing the future future, you're like, I don't know if this is really going to make it. And then when it, keep, when it goes up to like 15X, 20X, or at some point it's going to go 30X, you're like, shoot, I should really start to sell. And that could be true. But to get, how do you know to get from 10x to 15x to 30x or maybe even 100x for some of you, maybe even 1,000x for some of you? And it just really comes down to um, having set your goals and just kind of setting it and forgetting it like a Ronco food dehydrator. You just kind of put it in there and just go, okay, this is what it is. I have my points and I'm going to get out. Or maybe for you, it's I'm never getting out until I'm like 50 and I'll just wait for, I don't care about this bull run in 2021. If the four-year cycles are correct, you know, we've been falling pretty close for the last 12 years, I'm going to go for the next bull run or the next bull run after that because of these four-year cycles. So when you're looking at, at holding, uh, in the beginning, it's very tough, but just like exercise, getting into shape, eating the right foods, uh, starting a new job, I guess, like, you know, you kind of get into the swing of things. It's just hard when you are forming habits, but if you listen to studies, it takes between two and four weeks to develop habits if you maintain and sustain. So this is what it is in the very beginning, but as time goes on, really it's, it's here. People think it's so easy. Then people realize it's hard, but as you do it, again, it's just like going to the gym every day. It's just something you do, and then it just becomes second nature, and then this is just in your mind like it's in the back of my mind. So these are the things you have to watch out for. And uh, this is the investor's mentality. The trader's mentality is something different. I don't have that. I mean, I trade very little, but this is how I see it. So if you're ever confused or like, I don't know if I can do it, you can do it. You know, if you want to be an investor, I'm not telling you what to invest in, but the mentality itself I can talk to. Just kind of, you know, put the money in or whatever you're investing into and then just kind of step away and just go, well, I know where I, I think I know where it's going based on these news pieces based on my research I've done and everything else. So, and lastly, whoops, lastly, I want to tie this all together with talking about the uh, four-year cycles and the investor mentality and everything else. So when I talk about these, these four-year cycles, just as a quick refresher, um, I'm talking about the having all-time high dip reset, which we've seen over and over again. This was 2012, 2013 was an all-time high, had a big dip in 14, and then 15, we had a big reset. 
Same thing happened in 2016. They had a halving. Then 2017, all time high, big dip and a reset. Then in 2020, it's happening again. We had a halving. Uh, we're hitting all time highs. We're going to hit, I think, 150K for uh, Bitcoin. And then a dip and then a reset. And the next bull run will start in 2024. 2025 should be another all time high. So when we do these types of things, and when I talked about these articles and, and what to watch out for, as far as what's going to happen with like all these institutions, just know that uh, these things are going to come pretty uh, fa fast and heavy, hard and heavy. But you have to understand that um, people are going to have weak hands. Not you, you've been here for a while, but the new ones that FOMO in, which usually they FOMO in right around when everything goes parabolic. Then you're going to have this over here where everything goes parabolic. And then it's going to be the same thing in 2021. Everything goes parabolic. You have a bunch of people just FOMOing in. And the reason I know that people don't know what the heck they're doing is because of this little survey, which we covered a couple of videos ago. More than more than one in three crypto investors know little nothing about it. Survey fund. These are the ones that are already here, right? I mean, like I said, not you. You probably know exactly what it is and what it's all about and how it's going to change everything. But if you're going to see these newbies coming in and FOMO paper hands, they're going to see articles like this where you know tesla starts to sell off or another institution sells off or maybe another india ban or whatever country and they're like oh that's it i gotta get out and they're gonna pretty much crash the market and you're just gonna see a bunch of people just get out i know people will say ah oh, but rob you don't understand these institutions are here they're never gonna leave sure <laughs> sure michael saylor can get away with this because he runs the board right but elon musk can't and a lot of these corporations are going to get in, they are beholden to their stockholders. So they will be the ones that are like, you know what, uh, we're, we're going to sell a little bit. And once they start selling, everybody else starts selling. And I think we're still going to see these four-year cycles uh, just repeat and repeat and repeat because people don't get it. And until people really understand what crypto and digital assets are, it just won't make sense to them. And that's why I made this website up here, danteachescrypto.com. It's 100% free. They can learn everything about crypto that they ever wanted to, except for NFTs. I haven't gotten there yet, but I mean the basic, basic stuff. So if you haven't checked it out, go ahead and check it out. All I need is your, yeah, it's just your first name and email, nothing else. I don't even spam you. And then tell two people so they can understand and they can have stronger hands in the long run. All right. So that's it for today. So if you made it all the way in, hey, thanks, I appreciate it. If you liked the video and you found value, give it a thumbs up. That always helps tremendously. Also consider subscribing. Other things we talk about are time sensitive. And uh, that is it for today. So if you like those, I'll put up uh, two more on left and right, let YouTube do its magic. And that is it for today. So thanks so much, I appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.